Okay, we are going to do the second part of the lesson over or over percent of change. Um, and we're going to make sure that we put our last name in our last name and our first name so that I can verify that you have done and followed along in this video. If you are doing as you're supposed to and watching the lessons like we do in school, then you should have the same grades that we should get here at school. If you are not following along and doing the lessons as we do, then I can tell and, you know, we can all figure out that if a parent calls, I have val validation that you did not do your part of the work. So um, with that stated, we are still going over percent of change and I'm going to read what it says. It says to calculate the percent change between two numbers, you need to one, subtract the original from the newer number and then divide that difference by the original number. When you multiply that answer by 100, you will have the percent change. If it's positive, it is a increase, percent increase. If it is negative, it is a percent decrease. So this is the problem that we are going to have. It says find the percent change between 540, which I was nice. This is the new one and 400, which is the original. We are going to use our formula that should be pictured somewhere. Oh, don't even have the formula, but it tells me calculate new minus original. So I'm just gonna go off to the side and do my new, which is 540. And I'm going to subtract my original, which is 400. And my solution is 140. I will type that in right here. It is a positive 140, um, and that's step one. Step two, I've lost my rating, tells me what to do. Divide this answer from step one by the original. So I'm going to take my answer, which is 140, and I'm going to divide it by, it says the original, by 400. Now again, I'm going to use my calculator because I can, and I'm going to type 140 divided by 400, and I'm going to get 0.35. I will record that answer right here. 0.35 should be 0 0.35. Hopefully that is the correct answer. All right, and now I have to continue to apply what it says. Step three, multiply by 100. This turns it into a percent. So make sure to type the percent sign. So what that's saying is I need to take that 0.35, 0.35 and turn it into a percent, and it is 35%. I will type that here. Maybe if my computer likes me, 35%. And then I have to answer this last question. It says, what was the percent increase or decrease? Make sure to use the percent sign and type increase or de decrease. So I will put 35% and it's positive. So since it's positive, that means it is increasing. I N C R E A S E. I will hit next. And we're going to do another one, but this one is going to have us um, a real world problem. So I kind of have to find the numbers in my um, real world problem. This is telling me the steps again. So if you need them, they're there. But notice it's giving you the steps. You just have to do what it says. Last year, there was 1,435 eighth grade students enrolled at your school. So that is the original. Okay, that's my original number. And this year there are 1,220, which is the new number. What is the percent change in the number of eighth grade students? Calculate new minus original. So I will do my new, which is 1220. Oh. I'm going to subtract one, four, three, five. Uh-oh, I'm noticing something. You may not notice it, but I do. This number is bigger than that number. So this is one of those seventh grade problems 
where I have to kind of flip them and then remember that it's going to be a positive or a negative. So I'm going to find the difference between them. 1, 4, 3, 5, subtract 1, 2, 2, 0, 5, 1, 2. So 215, and I need to think the bigger number is being subtracted, so this will make it be negative 215. So my answer will be negative 215. Okay, step three. Step two, divide the answer from step one by the original, okay? So I'm gonna go back, I'll erase, divide, I wish my face was not so big on this thing. Divide the original, and the original was one, four, says divide the answer from step one, which is negative 215, divide it by the original, which is the 1435. So okay, I'm taking a pause because I have a feeling we've got to fix this. This year's the new number. No, it's right. So when you're doing these problems, just like I just did, do some thinking. Because it didn't make sense that the 1435 was the original number and the, 14, the 1220 was the new number, except for to say last year, that's our start. So that's the original. This year it changed to the new number. So I just wanted to check myself. Um, that's a good math technique is to make sure that if you think something different in the middle, kind of reason it through before you give up. Um, thank goodness for pause is all I can say. So I'm going to do the 215 negative divided by 1435 equals a nasty number. Um, and it tells me, so since I got a, not a very pretty number, in case you can't see that, it says negative 0 0.14982, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it says, so I'm going to look at my problem round to the nearest hundredth, which is two digits. So if I round it to the nearest hundredth, 0.14 is the hundredth. What comes next? 149. So this nine is gonna tell that four to go up to 0.15. I'm going to type that answer, 0.15. Step three, multiply this by 100. That turns it into a percent. So I know that by now it is 15%. Um, and I have to think about whether or not it was negative. Oh, okay, so this one was negative. So I have to put the negative in front of the 15, of the decimal 15. I also need to put a negative in front of the, well, I can't see it. Move the face. I have to put a negative here as well. So. What I'm showing you is that I made this negative 15 and I made this negative 15. Make sure you got that part. Because this last question then asks me, what was the percent increase or decrease? Make sure to use the percent sign and type increase or decrease. Since it is negative, my answer is 15% decrease, okay? We are going to hit submit, cross our fingers, but I think I didn't make any errors. But if I did, then I know that you guys can, um, you will have made the same errors. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Oh, looks like I did. Let's see what kind of things I can fix. So this one was correct. Let's see if I did, let's see why this is wrong. So I should do new divided by original. Let's figure out where I went wrong. And if you were watching this and you caught it when I did it, send me an email. You'll be getting some extra credit. 140 divided by the original. The original is 400. Okay, so 140. Whoops, clear. 140 divided by 400 equals 0.35. So my answer is correct. I'm going to have to correct this. 
No emails to Miss Began. She was right on that one. All right, let's see on the next one. So that would change this too. That's why both of those problems are incorrect. My answer is 35. I will correct this before you guys have a chance to do it. Um, that's, that's the only mistake that it looks like I had. So I'm expecting a perfect score from everybody that has completed the lesson the way that they're supposed to. Um, good luck. My face so I can stop this. 